Well, it's test drive time. A 1985 Chevy Monte Carlo with the 4.3. This is the six-cylinder motor. And, of course, we'll be taking it down the road, picking out flaws just like we always do. See, it's got an aftermarket set of wheels lowered down to the ground. This is an affordable car at 10.9. Nice interior. I heard it runs and drives good. Guys, we'll be going over the whole thing. Chip scratches, rust and dents. If it's got issues, you'll know about it. 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping. That's available. MapleMotors.com. Hit that subscribe button. Share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we leave, place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Got an aftermarket steering wheel. We'll start her up. Showing 34,000 miles. Every 100,000 goes back to zero. Looking under the furry dash here. It's like the clock even works. Turn signals. This one does need to be changed out. You can see it's got some scratches and stuff on it. Missing the cover to the light. AC, it's not freezing cold. But when I cut it on, you can hear a difference in the motor. So maybe it just needs to be recharged. Steering's good. Orange, you place your bets? It does work. Works good. All right. Let's hit the road, see how this one runs a drive. All right, guys, getting ready to take off down the road here. Wow, look at that seatbelt. It's kind of shredded. I've never seen one shredded. Huh. All right. Where's the other end? There we go. Doesn't really hang on, does it? Okay. heavy doors on this one. It makes it where you can see the reflection of the furry dash. So pet the furry dash. Guys, we're going to be going down the road. Anything that I see, you'll know about it. I'm here to pick out the flaws. That's my job, so I hope I don't miss anything. Here we go. Nice and tight on the steering. floating as we go down the road. Speedometer is working. Yeah, pulling to the right a little bit when I let go of that steering wheel. See that? When you punch it to the floor, it doesn't shift down. Hitting in those brakes. Nice and smooth. Back in the throttle. Thought it was pretty cool. Steve-O lives in town now. Uh, you know the guy from Jackass the movie and all the different episodes? Yeah, he lives here in Hendersonville now. And he was at Biker's Choice a couple days ago and they posted him on their platform. I was wondering if he'd ever stop by the lot. He might end up making his way over there. You never know. Pretty cool. Well, what we're going to do next, light up the undercarriage. I'm going to try to. I'm going over to this parking lot here because they haven't redone it. And there might be some potholes left. I don't know. This thing's very low to the ground. 
the only way I can get the undercarriage shot is if I find a pothole. <laughs> That's crazy, don't it? Well, wish me luck on my adventures here. We're going around looking for one. That's not normal, is it? Guys, I'll be right back. I found something that's pretty flat here, so hopefully we don't knock everything out. Let's try that. Okay guys, we're gonna get out of here. Tornado damaged everything over on this edge of town that I'm recording in a few months back. Speaking of recording, I spent a good two months of my life in that studio right there recording one of my first albums with Three Doors Down. That was awesome. That's some memories I'll never forget. That place was great. Looks like they're in there recording now. now scraping a little bit in this flat parking lot this thing's low to the ground so keep that in mind all right guys if you ever want to hear any of my music from that just type in nick southgate sacrifice that's my album that i recorded in there uh chris henderson for three doors down is the one that did the engineering on it and after that i went to college for audio engineering and learned how to do it myself so anything else you hear on the channel, I did at my house, in my basement, or with my own equipment. Here we go, heading on back to the lot. Make sure that hood's good and locked. 
locked it is. Well, I didn't see anything major on this one. Seemed pretty clean underneath. We'll go the long route, follow the vet. What do y'all think about them new Corvettes? It's like foreign cars, don't they? They're pretty cool. I like them. Looks like he's going the same direction we are. Yep, she seems like she's running and driving pretty good. It's hard to see how fast we're going. <laughs> it says 35, I feel like we're going more like 28. <laughs> I know the speedometer was fast when we went out on Main Street. Yeah, we definitely are. That guy in front of him just left that vet. Come on, guy. You're in a Corvette. You can go faster than 28. There's no way, dude. <laughs> I'm about to turn off and turn around. Actually, we'll just let him get way ahead. There we go. Still got that slight right pull, as you can see. That was the actual speed limit that we were doing. <laughs> oh, some people are wild, man. Yeah, see, it kind of pulled me to the right. Consider this no powerhouse, but it definitely a gas saver compared to the V8. Woo, the suspension being lowered like that, hitting that bump. If you can go back a little bit in the video and watch, that's the speed bump. You can see the whole front end jump up because this one's lowered down to the ground. See how effective that little bump back there actually is on something with a modified suspension. guys we're gonna pull back into the lot here picking out the flaws chip scratches rust and dents that's coming your way i look for that stuff so you know what you're getting before you get here i don't want to be the guy that says something and then you show up and it's different so if you've noticed in all my videos i pick out flaws and i've noticed a lot of people saying stuff like oh all their cars got flaws i can tell you one thing these other guys just aren't showing it i see old cars every single day if you got a perfection car it better be perfect it's going to be priced perfection. That's seventy to hundred thousand dollars. You know, that's a lot of classic cars for you when you look around the lot. Now, ours average thirty, and majority of the cars are between ten and twenty. So, check our website, MapleMotors.com. We have cars that are projects. We have cars that are more on the show side, but we never have anything that's perfect. We don't want perfect. We like going to Walmart. Don't have to worry about getting a door ding. Guys, thank you for watching. See you in a minute.
right, let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Coming up in the front. You got some cracks in the paint? A little bit of pitting in the chrome there. Spot here. Wax. Chips in that back bumper. Chip there. Cracks in the paint on top here. Back window looks good. cracks in that seal. Front window looks good. Coming up to the back. See some cracks in the back bumper here. A little bit loose on that tail light. I think they're just like that, actually. The seal. Looks good. And the trunk. Also looks good. Carpet, kind of thin. down with the trunk lid. Spot there. Paint is not perfect. You can see there's a couple little stains. Scuff on the side here. Spot there around the fender.
marks right here on top. chip here scuff here We made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. Buzzer works. Start it up. Carpet's kind of pulled there on the edge. It's a little bit dirty in this one, as you can see. Seat belt's kind of torn. Seat looks okay. good on the hood. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Some little marks. All right, guys, thank you for watching. 100 Detail Pictures, financing and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. If you need any more information on this, I have no problem going out and making an extra clip or a video for you and sending it straight to you.
be sure to be 100% um, serious. You know, if you're just messing around calling, we'll know the difference. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.